The numbers are staggering. More pedestrians are dying on Tucson streets than people being killed in vehicle collisions. The Digging Deeper team has been working to uncover the cause and News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has more. It's become an enforcement priority for the Tucson Police Department and others who are working to make our streets safer for everyone. Pedestrian fatalities have been on the rise since 2014. It's a really um, tragic statistic and it's not, Tucson is not the only city that's experiencing this. It's a nationwide issue um, here in the States. Um, overseas and in Europe. Numbers show a total of 80 people died due to traffic fatalities. 39 pedestrians, 6 bicyclists, 15 motorcyclists, 20 in vehicle collisions. So what could be behind the deadly increase? More people started to walk or bike and use different types of methods of transportation and the streets um, were not changed along with the increase in population. Evren Sonmez is the program manager with Living Streets Alliance. She says protected bike lanes like this one are used to cut down on collisions. Protected bike lane actually separates out the people on bikes from people driving cars, an actual physical separation. In this case, we have a curb and then we also have a line of parked cars. Tucson police has identified hot spots and are targeting those areas, but it's not only about writing tickets. It's about out. Increasing the education and enforcement and seeing if that changes um, any of the statistics in the area. Sergeant Mike Deach is the traffic safety supervisor. He has this message. Put your cell phones down if you're driving. Put your cell phones away if you're a pedestrian and pay attention to your environment. The city is also working to improve safety by planning, designing and maintaining so-called complete streets, which include lighting, sidewalks and other roadway improvements. And you can hear about a 20 year long range plan at an upcoming event called Move Tucson. Head to our website, kvoa.com for information. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.